welcome back to the 2016 YugiTuber Grand Championship. In this match, oh boy, we've got a good one. We've got Lithium 2300 going up against the legendary Kogarasho. And for this match's commentary, we have, welcome back once again, Glasgow Hard O, Yu-Gi-Oh. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dev Pro Duel video. <laughs> I nailed it, I nailed it. You nailed it. That was a perfect. That was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, whose perspective so, have we got up here? Lithium's. This is Lithium's perspective. Uh, yes. So it looks like he's actually strapped the helmet on quite tight for this first round match. He doesn't have a play here if he doesn't draw like fodder. No, no actually, he's fine. Yeah. He's fine. He's fine. He's good. Well, actually, Kogarasho looks like he's going first. Oh so yeah, yeah, yeah. Be, oh. Be, he's. I'm actually interested. So, tell how much do you know about Kogarasho? I've just heard of him as you speak now. <laughs> okay. So. Kogarasho, as you can already see, we have Armageddon Knight into Silent Boots. Um, Kogarasho is notoriously known um, in the Yu-Gi-Oh! community for creating extremely crazy fucking decks and, like, just totally whipping the meta's ass with them. So, he's pretty much a fan favorite, which is why I brought him back for the tournament this year. So, um, I'm really curious to see what he's going to be playing, because... I honestly have no fucking clue what he's going to be playing. <laughs> he's, he's got the Phantom Knights with a level 4, so already, like, that seems confusing to me. Right, exactly. It's like, it's... it's okay, to put it in perspective, in the tournament last year, he was playing, like, literally, like, Trap Tricks Insect Plant deck. Like, with Doom Dozer and, like, Ant Eater Eating Ant... Yeah. And, like, Naturia, Sacred Tree... Like, I'm not joking, he plays shit like this and will just fucking crush people. Sounds pretty standard to me. It's, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Well, he's got that twin twister. and That looks pretty good. Um, Like, he can surely end with just, like, Majesty's Domain, which, like, is, like, game, surely. Yeah, I mean, depending on what he's playing or depending on what those back rows are, because, again, we have no clue what we're going up against here. Um, he, I mean, at this point, you probably just want to get Prime and just ditch that with the Twin Twister. Um, yeah, and then one for one away, one of your Aethers for Idea, and then yeah. some of the Majesties activate Domain when... Um, actually, he needs to search Domain here. I, I would search Domain. Like, he's yeah, obviously... Domain, actually, Domain, yeah, you're right. Domain's actually the better call, I would say. Like, he, he needs to just lock his opponent down, because like, no one actually likes playing this game. So, mm -hmm. you just activate Domain. <laughs> All right, but he's not going to do it. He's going to go for the draw. Oh, he drew into the domain, so that's pretty good. Ooh, must be nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I know, I bet he's thinking to himself that he wish he could, uh, if he was playing in a competitive event, like, that he could actually draw like this. What's uh, Lithium's notorious, like, signature deck? Like, I didn't, I knew, I, it's, like, tributey stuff. Um, but this... It's actually Monarchs. It's Frog Monarchs, though. Okay. Yeah, so um, it's kind of a kind of a throwback to his good old days. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. So he had Fog Blade, which we already knew he searched off the boots, but I don't know what that other back row was because uh Death Row. Death row is too good. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? It's gone now. It's irrelevant. Yep. It's irrelevant. Oh, it's two fog blades. Okay. So that kinda sucks. But I mean that's like free cards, so mm, I just want to see his deck, man. I just don't know what he's playing. I know, me neither. And at this point though, you're right. I mean just ending with Majesty's domain is um that's that's enough to lock any deck out realistically. I mean, <laughs> Majesties is such a good card. It's a hard life, man. It's a hard life. Yeah. <laughs> so interesting, he's going for the prime right now. Yeah. Um, I would have maybe like one for one first. Yeah, because you want to get that engine going, but I guess it's kind of irrelevant since Majesty's Fiend's going to be on the field. But you would get that that's deck true. then at least, you know, drawn yeah. to like more domains and fun cards. Yeah, I just feel like on an empty board, especially with Monarchs, if you want to just establish as strong of a board as possible while you have no back row threats especially, I feel like that's just kind of good. But, I mean, he's keeping it simple. He's maybe saving the one-for-one one when he actually needs it. I mean, he can just, you know, sit on this like we were saying, so. So, Kokara's got four cards, staring down Majesty's Domain. He's playing... Ooh, set one. That's not good. Okay, that's... That's, uh... That's, that's like, a plea for help yeah. like when someone sets that <laughs> like that's how you know when someone's like struggling yeah he's gonna end phase prime which is basically just gonna set him up for a you know a free ether just to get the smack down it's so terrible like this is why i hate like these floodgate monsters because they're just so like like sure they can steal you games like cheaply but like you just you can't even play like mm -hmm. his best play here is to now like tribute that prime summon summon um uh, Aether and just like that's it like summon it like tribute summon a monster <laughs> that's it it's, 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 uh, yeah I know <laughs> it's like 
even I don't know though. Like Majesties especially though is a card I feel like is like so unfair. Like Vanities, you can kind of do a thing. You can do a lot of things to a Vanities fiend, but Majesties fiend literally locks down like fucking everything. I think it's the fact that it doesn't negate. It just like says you straight up can't activate, so you can't even yeah. like use some costs and stuff. Like it's, I know, which might be relevant for some decks. I don't know, but like it's just yeah, it's it's funny. Yeah. Oh my god, Andy's playing the copy of March in the main deck on top of it. So even if Kogarasho even has it out at this point, like it's that's like doom and gloom. <laughs> like at this point, like I just don't even know how he still has oxygen in his head from how tight that helmet's strapped on. <laughs> <laughs> this, wow. I mean, yeah, the only the only thing that could have bettered the board at this point is if he had return to go along with this, but um he doesn't even need it. He's basically gonna win. I don't know how you even out you need like uh, you need, like, Twin Twister Regeki at this point to win. <laughs> like, people always give me shit for, like, complaining about Floodgate so much. And people always say stuff like, oh, Floodgates are a necessity. And then you look, you, you see this board and you're just like, how does anyone like this game? Like, <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, it makes me kind of miss, like, uh, like how Old Monarchs back in... Uh, I know you you didn't play, like, way back in the day, but Old Monarchs played nothing like this. Oh, yeah, yeah, Summon, summon a Frog. Make, make, get, get Mobius or something like that. Or something, yeah, you put, you'd play it like when like Ryza was a $20 card and it was like Thestalos Control where you basically just like hand looped your opponent and like Ryza them and Phoenix Wing Wind Blast so you knew their next two draws and they couldn't do anything. Or like Substitute Tribute 50 Frogs and win. That was, <laughs> that was a good deck as well. That was, that was a pretty good deck, yeah. People always tell me like, oh, the good old days of Yu-Gi-Oh! And I, I, just, I just read about these cards and I'm just like... <laughs> I don't think that was the good old days of Yu-Gi-Oh at all. I disagree. Oh, I'm talking like perfect circle format when like Disc Commander was legal, Premature Burial, Draw 2, Sacrifice. Oh, man. I was like so like hyped for Disc Commander coming back. Like I actually thought it was going to come back. That card will never come back. Like there are some cards that like it's not should good. never come. That card is that good. Yeah. <laughs> like uh, I disagree. It- like I, it's you, so abusable it's so abusable you'd have to play like such a niche like thing like that's the issue with like most of these cards that the, the these old cards are like really niche and like kind of only relevant in certain situations like how many how many decks like play graveyard revival like uh, i mean cosmo runs triple call just saying like so okay so you, you what you're gonna throw like you're gonna th- you're gonna throw <laughs> a disc commander to disc commander yeah. in the cosmo. <laughs> yeah, so you're, so you're gonna throw in a disc commander into your cosmo deck, like. Hey, you just said what decks play graveyard revival? Okay, I'm not okay, saying, sure, sure, sure. You didn't but, say like, it works. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, like it's just it just seems terrible. And anyway, yeah. as we're getting sidetracked here, he's going for game. Oh, yeah. he's got fog blade. Okay. Well, he's gonna defend himself with his only resort being able to use trap cards. So I mean, at this point, I mean, if lithium just had a Jinzo, he would just automatically win at this point. So. Yeah, Jinzo and... Actually, Jinzo wouldn't even work, because I think Jinzo's only field. I don't know what I'm thinking. Like a spell cancel, that'd be really funny. Spell cancel. <laughs> Remember when people cited that for Necro's format? Remember when Infernoids had that in the main deck, like, for reasoning? <laughs> and you just, like, summon a spell cancel, and you're just like, alright. <laughs> I know you miss those days. Oh, nothing, nothing better than a card that says you can't play. Pretty much. It's just, it's just like, it's like... It's like being in that like abusive relationship, you know. It's like I, just, I love this game, but I just stop like you hurt me so much. <laughs> I just I just want to know what Kogarasho's digging for at this point to try and like come back. Hope. Like yeah, I, I <laughs> hope. <laughs> yeah, and so he's gonna scoop it up. I mean, a lot of people would even depend. No matter what you're playing, that board is so hard to crack. So. Um, looks like Kogarash is going first uh, for this, which is, you know, pretty good. Obviously, not wanting to get Monarchs, uh, let them set that up. But it does look like uh, Lithium opened the Max C, so possibly preventing any shenanigans that Kogarash is going to do. That's, I, I did not even realize he's playing 45 cards. Yeah. Well, I so. guess he's got more options. <laughs> <laughs> well, we see he's playing Phantom Knight, so, I mean, you know, some mill decks, they like to play over 40, which is, you know, kind of understandable, but... This is Kogarasho, so there's no... Okay, what the fuck? There's a Fluffle Bear now. <laughs> Fluffle Phantom Knights. No, it sets a Toy Vendor, I think, right? Um, I believe so, yes. Set one Toy Vendor right from your deck. Uh, tribute this card, target one Polly in your graveyard, add it. Okay, cool. Okay. All right, so he's just, like, reading that, like, do I max He's like, no. Yeah. Da, he's what? like, okay, he, Lithium's probably just as lost as we are at this point for what he's playing, so... 
So I actually saw a regional deck profile recently. I think it was like Fluffle Burning Abyss, but like the mm -hmm. only Fluffle cards it played was like the it's like Toy Vendor and like all the ditch cards. So you, mm -hmm. it's, it's like just like a draw engine rather than like an actual, basically. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense because it's like you can trigger all the Burning Abyss off the discard effect of Toy Vendor. You're getting draws to recycle that, so it's like you're not even negging from it. So I mean, it's not it's not terrible. Yeah, I mean that's why you play forty five cards, right? So you can see your best cards faster. Yeah. So he sends boots <laughs> off the toy vendor, so that's pretty good. Yeah, I can I can totally see the synergy here. Awesome. Yeah. And now he gets a free cool. uh, fall blade out of it. <laughs> now he gets a fluff of <gasps> wings. So is that not like broken? That's like, that, yeah, that's a good that, combo, right? Toy that's vendor. A, that's win. a pretty good combo. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that does things. I'm not sure what, but I, I think we're in for something here. <laughs> We're going yeah, places. it's like you can. It's like if you have Toy Vendor, you can um, you banish it, and then it's like it's like a pot of greed in a way. Okay. It's like it's really good. Fluffle Wings is like the only re it's like the only reason Fluffles is like really good. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. So let's work. Actually, we can read it right now. So it's target one Fluffle monster in your grave, banish it. If you do, draw one card, and if you can send one toy, or then you can send one Toy Vendor you control to the graveyard, and if you do, draw one card. So that's what it does essentially. Okay. So how does he get this into the graveyard? Does he, he have to, like, fuse with it now? Since he's already used that toy vendor. What is going on? What? <laughs> Where did that even come from? Um, how How is that on I, the field? How did that happen? Did he have a malicious I, engrave? No, because all he had was he ditched the... Oh, wait, no, because... You know, actually, no, I don't even know. How did that even get there? Well, I okay. Malicious I, miraculously spawned on the field. Does Toy Vendor alter levels or something in your hand? Or <laughs> okay, this is gonna be. Oh right. Okay, so Malicious can special summon itself if you discard, or am I thinking of like Dark? No, no, no. Malicious is the only effect is you can banish it from grave to special another Malicious. Okay, cool. So I'm st I'm really confused how we even got that on the field. I'll take his word for it. I'm sure it was. It's okay. I'm sure everyone in the comments is gonna be like, you know, you two are dumb fucks. Like he obviously got it on the field. I mean, I'm not I'm not <laughs> a hero player, man. I don't I don't know how like Destiny heroes work. Like I saw them in the anime once. They they seemed really fucking not. They they seem really emo, like it wasn't my thing, so never written I haven't yeah. read many Destiny Hero cards. Sorry boys. Although Plasma yeah. seems really funny. I like Plasma. Plasma's funny. Malicious is like Malicious used to be fifty dollars back in the day, if you didn't know. Yeah, Telly Dad um, stuff, right? Yeah, malicious, destiny draw, um Remember when yeah, like that that, that that's like good. a format when like Stardust was like a big deal. Like that was a big deal. Staring yeah. down a Stardust was like, even no no even before Stardust even existed, Malicious was really good because it was just free tribute fodder for uh, Monarchs in Perfect Circle. So I mean, mm. it was like, hey, you get to ditch Malicious, draw two, you get a free monster on the field for tribute fodder. Um, it was dark, so you could just obviously dark synergy back in the day was just ridiculous. So, um, oh wait, but, hang on, right? I'm reading Toy Vendor now. So like, once per turn, discard a card, draw one card, and reveal it. If it's a Fluffle monster, you can special a monster from your hand. So he drew with Toy Vendor. Oh, that's right. Okay. He revealed wings, and then that let him special Malicious. I thought you had to special the monster you added. Okay, that's that's where I was confused. Okay, cool. Right. It's okay. All right. So now logic. There we go. Toy Vendor. Cool. So we <laughs> we, we got that we got that fluffle um, fluff, the fluffle theory done, and yeah. okay, lithium's going up here. And... With that high level commentary for you, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. We now we'll figured it out. Top. I mean, I'm not, sorry, guys. Like, I'm not used to commentating table five hundred. Okay. So now, I mean, he ended with a pretty lackluster field, though, to be honest. I mean, he has Malicious, a set monster, and something we're presuming is Fogblade, because he banished Boots to search it. What do you mean, subpar? Like, it's level 6. <laughs> That's like a big number. It's a big number, but it almost <laughs> has as many stars as it does defense points, so. Uh, I remember being a, a young a young boy playing this game for the first time like back when like the anime first came out i mean I, I, like everyone played back then right when it first yeah. came out like when you were young mm -hmm. just like mm -hmm. monster's got more stars man it's got more stars obviously it's better it's better <laughs> <laughs> it's better it's just better okay so he's tenacity here he's probably gonna like i guess you just storm forth majesties here right yeah because i'm there's no reason not to and then you just storm forth away the set monster because majesties will make sure it doesn't trigger Squeaky bum time. Um, Alright, he's gonna... Kagaro's gonna get shit. And he has the Twin here. Twister if he really wants to take the minus just to clear the back row. Yeah. I mean, but I would. Like, you can just I, discard I a Rebus. I, right, because obviously if you see Majesty's work so well last time, I wouldn't have fear. 
It's a real shame we haven't really got to see this in action because it's he's literally playing against Floodgate the deck, so it's like he can't like we we, can, we, have, we haven't actually seen what his deck's capable of yet. Like it can, yeah, absolutely. It, it can special summon a malicious, and that's like what all I've like seen so far. Mm -hmm. Which is pretty broken. Yeah, so there goes the fog blade. He's gonna go ahead and use the stormforth as we thought. He tributes the trick clown. Oh, trick clown. Okay, all right. So clown. <laughs> oh, of course. Obviously, he has the trick clown. I mean, clown hero phantom knight. Fluffles. Ah, yep. he, well, actually, actually, I think, I think I've got a name here. We just call it Graveyard the Deck. Graveyard the Deck? I like that. <laughs> like, everything here seems to, like, trigger in the graveyard, so. Yeah. Draw, and wings, and fog blade guy. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. I wonder what he calls it. Did you, did you ask him? I didn't. I can ask him, yeah. but, um, yeah, okay. I'm not sure. Oh. It's probably nice though. I mean, both of these both of these guys are in Europe, so I mean, they probably enjoyed that they didn't have to play across eight different time zones. So, <laughs> graveyard set the deck. Okay. Graveyard. Yeah, I know. Well, <laughs> against Majesty's Fiend with this deck, I don't really know what you're gonna do. <laughs> oh, such a shame. I know it really is because like uh, I was really hoping that we'd see something good, but it looks like Lithium and his uh, his his. His helmet strapped too strong. I don't even know what else there is to say. I mean, I'm just like I'm exhilarated right now. <laughs> I can just feel the energy emitting. I think I've right legitimately now. in my life played one deck that used the floodgate, and that wasn't even like that was like in the side deck. <laughs> you know, like I played Shadals like back in the day. I say With back mistake. in the day, it was like last year. Not even mistake. It was just Majesty's Fiend. This was before Necros oh. came out. So oh, okay, you, okay. So you side Majesty's Fiend for the Shadal Mirror match? Of course. Yeah. So like that's that's it. Cause that just wrecks them because the only out they have to Majesty Speed is like they have to go minus three to get over it. Yeah, they have to make like a neg construct. But he's got he we've yeah. got a rank three play here, so he can okay. go for. What do you go for here? What's big? Acid goal. Surely not. Okay, Dante. Or you defense. just make Dante in defense mode. That also works. See, this is why Majesty Speed is so dumb because like he can't, he can't even like mill under this. I know. You know. <laughs> and like his only way to out this now would be to like I guess summon Aether. Uh, use the effects and pan. Search out three primes, draw with that pan. Squeaky bomb time. Or he... <laughs> I don't even know. Like, he could. I don't. You know what? Beatrice would actually be really fucking good in this deck. <laughs> mm. With the amount of things that you can send that trigger and great. You could send malicious. Just like to making be able to it, like it to an summon issue. another malicious. He'd have to add, like, five more cards to his 45 card deck you know you'd have to play yeah. like a, a burning uh burning abyss yeah because I mean, we haven't seen any burning abyss i'm just saying if he was running it because i mean we've already seen four different engines in this deck at this point i mean i'm gonna ask him for the last man like, like just, just make a graveyard deck like do you think he just like woke up like this morning and he was just like you know what can i get you fam like just give me a graveyard deck. Like, what what zone do you want to use today? Like, mm, pendulum zone. Pretty much, mm, pretty much. Like, if you watch the videos on his channel, it's like the amount of crazy shit he literally. Okay, so back in Necros format, he had an entire video of just him like shitting on Necros with like the most craziest fucking decks, and just like just people rage quitting one after another. <laughs> By a crazy deck, do you mean like Clifford? <laughs> no, 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 not Cl like it's like he would. He was playing like, um, like, like. So, for example, in that video, he would play something like um, Mecha Phantom Beasts with Transmodify into Spell Canceller to be able to just like instant auto turn one Spell Canceller, and then they can't play, and then backed up with like some other shit. Like, so that's just one thing. And like his videos are just like 10, 15 minute compilations of like 30 different decks that he just uses to just shit on whatever the meta currently is. I mean, yeah. Do you not know that combo? Yeah, well, of course. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man! When people so, when people just like get confused with these things, like just be like, what, what what is he playing? Just like right, just, just you just act like oblivious to it. Just be like, oh yeah, yeah, you you've never seen this before. It's it's pretty relevant. Like, so well, that's what's so fun about like about playing this game so long is like when you know these older cards, like like spell canceller or something that it's like, oh shit, like this card actually really works like right now. And, like, no one knows what the fuck the card is that you're playing, and, like, everyone has to, like, read it, and they're like, that's pretty fucking good. <laughs> I will, um, during Necro's format, I saw, when the, the first ever time I saw that card was a Clifford mm -hmm. player with Canceller and Majesty's, Majesty's Fiend mm -hmm. out against Necro's, and I just, like, I just, I just looked at him, looked at him in the eye, and, like, we just had this, like, mutual nod of, like, you know, like, <laughs> stay strong, bro. 
<laughs> like, like I feel you. We we've all like you know we're all we're all on our like little journey through life. You right. know, we're all struggling. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, going for ID so, into IDOS. Yeah, it's interesting that he got rid of the Majesties because the Dante's still on the field. I mean, I guess it's not really going to be doing a lot of recursion, so it's kind of irrelevant at this point that he made Dante. So, um, and now he can just get back the Erebus, and he gets the second tribute summon here. So I would probably like spin the malicious in the graveyard. Oh wait, he gets the oh, actually, Majesties. Oh, that's pretty good. Well, Never mind. Of <laughs> er Erebus targets everything. Yeah. Oh, this is so fun, man! Like, look at this. He's managed to wow. he's managed to establish a bigger board. He's managed to add that same Majesty Queen back to his hand. So he's got two more monsters, and we're in the same position as he was in the last turn. Like, it's really weird he didn't use the Majesty Queen to attack because it would have gone to thirty-two. So he could have gotten an extra four hundred in. But I mean, at this point, he's pretty much going to win anyway. So I mean, it's it's so minor that I don't think Lithium actually cares. He's just sitting there like. He's just like, Almost. come at me. <laughs> come at me, bro. <laughs> He's like, what are you going to do? You can't use any monster effects. You can't use your extra deck. I have a tw I have a 24, a 28, a 24 wall, and something that's going to, like, I don't even know. Like, like, even... It's pretty obvious. Like, he's playing... Kagaro's playing a deck that's, like, clearly, like, monster effect heavy. And, like, it's yeah. very unfortunate that just round one, like, he gets paired up against monster effect negation, the deck. Well, and even so, like, not even all Monarch players even main deck Majesty's Fiend. It yeah, just so yeah, happened yeah. that uh -huh. Lithium managed to open it both games and just use it to, like, its full advantage. And right there you can see Kogarashi just scoops it up. So Lithium 2300 moving on to round two. So thank you all so much for watching the video. We'll see you in the next match.